Take one. Take one. <laughs> Baby. Wait, I'm supposed to look at the thing. Okay. Today, I'd like to introduce you guys to my daughter, none other than Violet Madison. Say hi, Violet. Hi. <laughs> Actually, you know what? I gotta teach you something. Okay, let me tell her too. We have to look at that. So yeah, we're not looking look at ourselves. Here. Really? Oh my gosh, she's such a professional. See, she's ready for this. Okay. She needs her own show. <laughs> here we go. Violet's 10 years old. She is my best friend, my first child. She's a, she's a saucy one. We have the best time together. Had such a great time making our pizza dough. But I have to ask Violet, what did you think? How did I do? I thought that you did amazing. What? She's being so nice to me right now. It's okay, you can keep it real. I keep it real, girl. Oh, okay. I found out I added a little bit too much salt in the pizza dough, but hey, it happens. Continuing on with the trend, we're gonna do something new and fun here at the house today. Can you, can you, can you notice something different? Violet, why don't you tell them, what am I dressed like today? A visco girl. <laughs> or better yet, a visco mom. And I made her wear this whole thing. Yeah. We actually kind of dressed each other up today, which was fun. I know you're probably asking, what is a visco girl? Violet, would you like to elaborate what a visco girl is? Visco girls wear seashell necklaces. Okay, like so. <laughs> and they wear scrunchies. Scrunchies, where's our scrunchies? We gotta get our scrunchies. And they have hydroflasks. Okay, yes, so hydroflasks. And they, and they say, and I you. And save the turtles, correct? and they drink out of metal straws. Yes. It's like an internet trend within the teen and preteen. Uh, I sound like such a mom. I'm so sorry, kids. So sorry, Violet. When you watch this later, you're gonna be so embarrassed. When I was your age, Violet, yeah. a visco girl was a valley girl. You ever seen the movie Clueless? No. Okay, I have to introduce you to Clueless because it's a classic. So girls wore plaid skirts and they all walked around and said, whatever, and let oozer, and all that stuff, you know, like whatever. So that was our thing back in the day. It was very 90s. You don't know about that time. You came way after that. But that was my version of the Visco girl. So it's the new generation of the clueless era. We went all out for her 10th birthday. It was double digits. So tell us about your birthday party. My birthday party was really fun, and I had a lot of friends there. We tie-dyed shirts. We had milkshakes there. Yes, milkshakes. We even got some cute jewelry and puku shell jewelry from Claire's. Oh, we had a girl DJs. I mean, it was a girls only party, actually. There were no boys allowed. Mm, no. no boys. <laughs> no and boys. And then, su sushi. Violet's favorite. Okay. Violet loves sushi. The whole pile. Yeah, a whole pile of sushi. So I got her lots of sushi, had an awesome cake with avocados and all these cute little like stickers and everything. I mean, you name it, everything was visco girl. So today, one of my favorite hobbies is beading. I mean, like I make beaded bracelets, which Violet managed to get her hands on. I didn't know she had this today until now. Um, I make beaded bracelets, earrings, necklaces. It's like one of my favorite hobbies. So I decided let's bring our worlds together and let's make a real classic visco girl shell necklace. Are you with it? I'm with it. <laughs> She's making me laugh. I'm with it. <laughs> All right, so I've broken out a couple of my um, different sets of beads. I have lots of little boxes with lots of great little jewels in them. Pearls to have... like Swarovski crystals. I got it all and I'm like totally addicted to this. So don't judge me. I'm obsessed with beading. And we got, these are like a very good color. That is a good color. They remind me of seashells. Ooh, like there's the another shore. seashell. Hey, very nice. Don't you have to go like this? Hi. Yeah, you do. <laughs> the seashells represent saving the turtles. Okay, so that's the route that you're gonna go? Yeah. All right, I'm totally with that. And then I found an old necklace. Now you can do this at home. Sometimes we don't get the time to go to the beading shop. Right now we can't go to the beading shop because it's closed. I looked through all of my accessories and I found a couple um, like old necklaces that I probably would have thrown out anyways and just cut them up and now we're just gonna rework them. And then um, as a mommy, <laughs> I'm gonna put some of my really cute beads so that I can actually wear this out. 
What colors would you like to go with, Violet? Light, light blue, which is right there, girl. Perfect. I'm gonna show them. Is there a light blues right here? Bloop. I'm gonna go with this. Ooh, I like that. Because it's light and I like the color uh -huh. a lot. I'm gonna go with, see this is very much my style. Burgundy. Magenta red. Boom, it's magenta, yes. And it's got some sparkle to it, so to me it kind of reminds Ooh. me of shells, like the inside of like oyster shells and stuff. And because it's got some purple in it, it reminds me of you. She loves oysters. And I also love violet. Should I go with this one or this one? Ooh. I'm gonna close my eyes and pick. You could close my eyes. Okay. Like I said, I'm gonna go with this Swarovski. So I think that's something a mom could wear as a Fisco mom. I can't wait. And I will mix them with these shells right here. So these are the shells that I'm gonna go with. Violet's gonna go with the classic, uh, I guess you call them puka shells or something. I've got all of the tools. We even got these cool little trusty little pad, like things that you can kind of like design before. Ooh. Yeah, before you make it. So Violet, you have actually the bracelet one. So I'll take the bracelet. This is a necklace shape. Voila. I'm doing the necklace? Yeah. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna take the beads and we're gonna like line them up how we wanna make the necklace look. Okay. I have a scissor right here. Mm -hmm. So these are gonna be your... Oh my. <laughs> it's okay, we'll get it later. Okay, and I could even have, add different colors. These are your shells you're picking right here? Yes. Okay. I, I got eight shells because I love the shells. Nice. Now you always want to have like a good like surface or something under you that you're going to be able to find your beads later because these things will go everywhere. But it's fun, who cares? <laughs> it's fun to make a little mess. From, from here to here is your neck. Yeah, we'll make that your necklace size. Actually, let's take your actual necklace. Take one of your necklaces that you already have and it'll help you measure. This is a guide to doing it. Just take your necklace. That'll be the measurement. It'll help you measure what your neck's going to be like. Make it look how you want it to look. And I'm going to work on mine. All right, let me see. Oh, I like it. Okay. I started beading mm -hmm. when I was in Puerto Rico. Remember Puerto Rico? Yes, I yeah, did. It's so much fun. I was filming a TV show called The Oath, and uh, you know, when you're a star of a TV show or one of the stars of a TV show, you tend to make sure to like give the cast and the crew like a gift at the end to say thank you, thank you for all the work that you did. We had at least like 70 people that worked on set. Kind of hard to find gifts for 70 people. As I was shopping one day in Puerto Rico and walking down the streets, I noticed there were tons of bead bars and I walked in there and I was like, ding, it was like a light bulb went over my head. I'm gonna make beaded bracelets. And they had the most beautiful beads there and they were really affordable prices. And um, I would find myself like in my trailer every day making beaded bracelets for people. And, and it's a lot of fun. You know what's great about it is you can kind of like build upon like people's style or kind of like their aura and kind of feel them out and say like, I feel like this person would wear gold with a little bit of like burgundy and you know, pearl. Like, and literally when I was done and I like the whole show ended and I gave everybody their gifts, they were so happy. Like some people brought them to tears, which is like, so thankful because it meant that much to me when I was making it. So that's what I love about beading. It's very personal. Ooh, nice. So it's got like three, oh, you've got three of these beautiful blue beads, then you got a shell, blue, ah. So this is Violet's design, I love it. Look at that. I ruined it. <laughs> <laughs> I can't it's ruin fine. it. It's fine. So this is the one she was going I will off remember of, it. but look. There it is. Here's the, ah. Oh my gosh. So here, I'm gonna set you up. So this is what we're gonna do. So we have- We had to put them in. Yes, exactly. But I tied a little tie at the bottom. The thing is, sometimes the tie, the oh. knot comes out, and the last thing you Isn't want- Isn't there something you put inside so the beads don't yes, fall out? Yes, because if you make a whole entire bracelet or necklace, and then next thing you know, the beads fall off, it's the very frustrating. The beads fall all the way off. She's heard me definitely freak out about doing all she that. Has. I love beads. Okay, she likes it. She's into it. You got your stopper, and then yes. what you're gonna do, you're gonna start filling up your... Design? Yep. Inside? Right there. So I'm gonna do five in a shell, five in a shell, five. That's gonna be my design. Once you get into this, I'm telling you, it's very, oh my gosh. Like, you get obsessed. And it's a good obsession, because honestly, it's like, 
everything, the world just stops and you can just be quiet. And I feel at peace when I'm working on this. Here and goes it's mine. It's fun to do if you're bored. That too. And that can happen easily. Got my stopper. Oop, see, that's the stopper I'm talking about. And I'm still gonna tie the end just in case the stopper falls off. How am I supposed to put the seashells in? Yeah, let me see. Ooh, are we gonna have a but seashell problem? Here, look. Go to the other end. You see the back? Yes. You got the hole. You're gonna just slip it in there. Boom. You see? Ah. Thank you. Then I'm gonna take mine. I love it. You love it? I love your accent. Thank you. Oh, darling. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna begin. Good luck. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna get there faster. Oh, okay. One, two, three, four, five. It's so therapeutic. It's super therapeutic. And, you know, the final product when you're done and actually giving it away feels really good. Delete the part where you said therapeutic like two times. Therapeutic, therapeutic. It's therapeutic. I need this. I'm having trouble doing this. I'm just like, is this gonna take this long? Well, sometimes great things take a little bit of time. They do. Patience is important. Oh my gosh. This one? Oh, come on! Okay. Oh, I know how to do that. You got this one? Yeah, I got that. You think so? Yeah, I think I got that. Do you want me to try? Yeah, you try mine. I'll try yours. I cannot get this I can't one. either. Okay, so you know what? Because I know I can get it through that back hole, but I can't make it go to the other inside. That's what it is. Side. It's so hard. I think I can always change it up. Doesn't mean we have to be stuck with this idea. You could always change your mind and redo your design. Big facts. Even if it takes long. Yep. Oh, I hear a little brother. Grandma's got her back. He's with Grandma right now. So how's homework life, Violet? What do you? Homework has been great, <laughs> but I have so much homework. Is it harder going to school or is it harder doing homeschooling? You think homeschooling is harder, but I personally feel like school is harder. Do you miss your friends? I miss my friends so much. You do? Mm -hmm. Do you think that's like the hardest part about being away from school? Yes, and... yes, yes. Yeah? Yeah. Well, it's good. You know, the one good thing that I, I that I've you've been able to do is now we have FaceTime. You guys are super into drawing, so you didn't really have that um, hobby before. I didn't see you do as much of that, and now I'm seeing you really tap into some new hobbies, mm -hmm. like this. Mm -hmm. You know what would be really cool? Like the way that I made these uh, these beaded necklaces and bracelets mm -hmm. for the people in the cast and the crew. Maybe. Since your friends are so far away, we can make them a couple bracelets and, and then send, send it to them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. I think that's a good idea. Now you might even want to buy those bracelets with the alphabet on them. <laughs> and then write their names. Oh, on that's them. a good idea. Mm -hmm. And then maybe buy one with a heart. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I like that one too. Yours looks awesome. So this is a good size. Nope, almost. Don't underestimate. You want it to be longer. Oh, and lift the, yeah, because that's what's gonna like hold it together so it doesn't fall apart. You gotta get some good glue. Okay. Ooh, she's cute. That's my girl. <laughs> Make me proud. Okay, Make me proud. I love you. Okay, All right, so. Yourself. Blow it. <laughs> this is Violet's really cute necklace. And nice. And here's my Visco bracelet. Visco bracelet. Ta-da! I'm so happy that we did that. So happy. You killed it. Yes. Thank you guys so much for watching. <laughs> See you next time. <laughs>